What is the crack lads? It is the Midnight Kid here back with another episode in this series where we're taking a look at the best players for all positions for all budgets. So we're going to be starting today with Espinoza. We are looking at centre midfielders. This guy is on the cheapest, one of the cheapest options in the game if you are looking for a box-to-box -box centre midfielder. He's got captaincy, track back. He's got all the player skills you could need for rise and shot, weighted pass, outside curler. He is on D rating this week, so you might want to hold off on buying him for maybe next week, or you could buy him now and take the take the gamble that he will be up. But even with his D rating, I think for a player that for four thousand one hundred GP with eighty aggression, seventy three stamina, seventy two kick and power, sixty five acceleration for that price, he is definitely worth a punt. If you are looking to get somebody a little bit more. I don't know, finessed and a little bit more expensive, but gives you a lot of bang for your buck. You could go far wrong, or you could go a lot more wrong than this guy, Sevšić from Slavia Prague. So again, a very, very good dominant player in midfield, 74 acceleration. He's got unwavering form as well, so he's going to be up in form more often than not with his player arrows. He's going to be higher more often than not and dribbling is good tight possession is good this kind of this guy is kind of like a cheaper option to some of the fancier center midfielders you're going to see on this definitely worth a punt as well he is a left footer so that adds a nice little dimension to your game as well this guy needs no introduction i mean graven birch has been used so far and he is being used by pro players by content creators by streamers Everyone seems to have him. And I know that I've left off the likes of Kamavinga off this list, who is not on this list. Kamavinga is an absolute beast as well. I just think that Gravenberch is cheaper, more effective, gets up and down the pitch a little bit better. And he's a better all-rounder. He's got Anchorman as his CMF playing card. He can play DMF, obviously, with Anchorman as well. But look at all the player skills. Double touch. He's an on-ball player as well as a disruptor. So that is what you need when you are, are playing a CMF with this role. If you're looking for, again, a little bit more finesse, I try to balance these out. Instead of having seven players that are like deep-sitting anchormen like Pirlo-esque or Makalele-esque that just keep things moving along and play from deep, I also like to mix it up with like an all-rounder CMF. Gavi is basically a mini version of Pedri. He's half the price. He's, you know, probably maybe 10, 15% less, I think, than Pedri in terms of ability. I think Pedri is fantastic. You'll see him in a couple of minutes. He is on this list as well. But Gavi is like a clone of Pedri. It's way cheaper, way more achievable to buy. He's A rating as well. Just buy him for 39,000 GP. You won't go wrong. Next up, we've got Bellingham. So again, as I said to you, I've left out Pogba, I've left out Kamavinga, I've left out players like that that are very similar in the mold of Bellingham. This guy has it all. He's 18 years of age. He's got one touch pass, outside curler, fighting spirit, heel trick, double touch. He's got all those tricks in his bag that a winger would have. And he's also got the ball control, the tight possession, the acceleration, the balance, stamina. Look at all the stats, man. They're just un believable stats i think if you're going to be making a choice between him and graben birch that is the real choice that you need to make i would say that bellingham is more of a, like a ball player like a box to box on the ball pass and go type of player but it's up to you next up we've got pedri so pedri comes in at just under a hundred thousand so he's in that 50 to a hundred thousand range right at the top of it ninety six thousand gp Centre midfielder, similar stats to Gavi, who we just looked at a couple of minutes ago. He's got all similar player skills. He can play pretty much anywhere in the top uh, attacking areas of the pitch. Left mid, left wing, centre, attacking, DMF, SS, right wing. He can't play right mid. That's probably the only position he can't play. But we're going to take a quick look at Pedri here because we are going to be heading over to eFootball DB to see some of the potential that Pedri could have. Now, as we've said before, we're still working on the, on the, the guys are still working on the player levels um, to get this 100% accurate. But this just gives you an example of how the progression points are going to work uh, when the game actually comes out and when people are able to use this tool on eFootballDB perfectly. So we've given him 20 progression points here or 30 progression points. Um, and we're going to show you what you potentially you could turn him into with using those points, which is about, you know, roughly kind of coexists with what you will actually be able to train him up to. As I said, this is going to be a work in progress at the moment. We are going to be continuing to, to work on this and get the ratings 100% right. Next up, we've got Kessie. So again, it's hard to include Kessie in this list and recommend him above 
Gravenberch or a recommend him above uh, Bellingham. But as I said, this list is all about finding the best players per price range because somebody might have 100,000 that they want a backup CMF or they want a main man that can do it all. This guy, again, if you look at his tackling and his defensive abilities, is probably the pick of the bunch. I just think he's probably a little bit too expensive for what you could get from buying Bellingham and training him up or Gravenberch, which is even cheaper, and training him up and using that to develop his training a little bit. But again, fantastic player. This AC Milan man is a fantastic player altogether. Now, the creme de la crop, the man at the top of the pile is Goretzka. Now, I've left off a couple of CMFs. I'm sure that the chat and the comments below will be like, oh, what about him? What about Zelensky? What about this guy? What about that guy? Modric, Cruz. I understand that. But I'm picking just based on my recommendations from talking to a lot of people, talking to a lot of content creators. I think Goretzka does it all. If you look at his stats beside anybody, he's able to play on the ball, dribble. He's able to have like, you know, touching goals. He also has that steeliness. He also has the height. He also has B rating this week. He's got unwavering form. And he's also got the tackling and aggression as well to go along with everything else. So that is it for my all budget CMFs. Um, we will be back with another episode. I think left midfielders, right midfielders are next. We will bash those out. Keep the tips coming in. Keep the suggestions coming in. I will talk to you again later. Peace.